Okay, guys. Our today's topic is lag culture. So, what is this lag culture? What is its definition? So, lag culture is the rearing of. Is the rearing of lag insects. Lag insects on their host plants. Host plants for production of for production of commercial lag. So lag culture is the rearing of lag insects on their host plants for production of commercial lag. So what is this lag? This lag is a scarlet. It is a scarlet. Scarlet means bright red or light orange. Light orange secretion is a scarlet secretion. Scarlet resinous secretion. It is a scarlet resinous secretion. Resinous secretion of lag insects of lack insects so lack is a scarlet resinous secretion of lack insects belonging to genera belonging to genera metatacardia Metatacardia, Lacifer, or it is also known as Kiria, Lacifer, Tacardella, and so this lag, it is a scarlet resinous secretion. So it is a bright red colored or light orange colored resinous secretion produced by lag insects belonging to genera Metatacardia, Lesper also known as Kiria, Tacardilla and Ostotacaridia. Sorry, it is Ostotacaridia. Ostro tecoridia. This Ostro tecoridia. So this lag is a scarlet or bright red or light orange colored resinous secretion produced by lag insects belonging to genera Metatecardia, Lacifer, Tecardilla, and Ostro tecoridia. So these lag insects they produce this resinous secretion and this resinous secretion is known as the lag. So we rear these lag insects on their host plants. Let us see what are their host plants. Host plants for these lag insects. So these lag insects, they are reared on their host plants. So what are the host plants for these lag insects? Host plants of these lag insects they include duck, Butia monospermia, Butia monosperma, bear, Zizifus, Zizifus mauritiana, mauritiana, or cosm. Kusum, Shlichra, Shlichra, 
Leviosa. So these are the three host plants on which these lab insects are reared and they suck the sap of these host plants and then they produce the lac, right? Lac insects which are reared on this kosum, Shinichira oleosa, they give the best yield. They give the best yield. So lac insects which are reared on, which are reared on, lac insects which are reared on, Kosum, Shilichira oleosa, they give the best yield, they produce the most of the lac, right? So that is their host plants. So rearing of lac insects on their host plants for production of commercial lac, that is known as lac culture, right? These lac insects, they belong to different genera. And these different genera of lac insects, they are reared on their host plants. So their host plants include duck, Butia monosperma, bear, Zizifus mauritiana, Kosum, Chilichera oleosa. Highest yield is produced on this Kosum plant, Chilichera oleosa. It yields the highest quantity of the lac, right? Now we will see what is the taxonomic position of these lac insects. Taxonomic position of lac insects. These lac insects, they belong to Kingdom Animalia. Kingdom Animalia. Phylum Orthopoda. Class Insecta. Genus. There are different genera, as I told you just now. One genus is Metatacardia, another is this Lecifer, another is Tacardilla, another is Ostrotacardia, right? So there are different genera. Metatacardia, Metatacardia, Lecifer, also known as Kiria, right? Then there is another genera that is known as Tacardilla. Tepardella and then there is Ostro Tepardia. So these are the different genera of lac insects, right? So this is their taxonomic position. Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Orthopoda, Class Insecta. There are different genera involved in lac culture. Meta Tepardia, Lecifer, Tepardella, Ostro Tepardia. Right, Ostotacaridia. These are the different genera of lac insects which are reared for this production of lac. Right. So, how these lac insects are reared? So, how we obtain lac from them? We will have a look at the life cycle of these lac insects. Life cycle starts from the female as she lays the eggs. A female lays some 200 to 500 eggs in small lac cells. In small lac cells. What are these lac cells? This is the accumulation of lac around a female. So female is buried inside this cell. Female is present inside this lac cell, right? She secretes the lac around herself and she forms a cell around herself. So in that lac cell, a female lays some 200 to 500 eggs. These eggs, they hatch within a few days. Eggs hatch into 
crawlers. Crawlers. Or we also call them as nymphs. Within a few days. Within a few days. So a female lays 200 to 500 eggs in lac cell. Then in that lac cell these eggs hatch into crawlers or nymphs within a few days. These crawlers or nymphs, they come out of the hatch lac cell, come out of lac cell, they come out of lac cells and they migrate to, and they migrate to tender shoots, tender shoots. So as these crawlers, as these nymphs hatch from the eggs, these nymphs they leave the lag cell. Every lag cell has got a small minute pore. So through those minute pores, these crawlers or nymphs, they leave the lag cell and they migrate to tender shoots. They migrate to newly formed soft branches of the plants, right? And they settle there. They settle on them, insert their proboscis, insert the proboscis, proboscis, and suck the sap, to suck the, to suck the sap. So as they start sucking the sap, so they are taking their nutrients, they are taking their diet in the form of this sap of the plant. So they insert their proboscis into the tender shoots, into the plant tissues and suck the sap. So this sap provides them nutrients and they start growing. They start growing. And with the process of growth, they also start producing a lack around themselves. With the process of growth, they also start producing Lag, they also start secretion of lag. So they suck the sap and they grow in size, they show growth. And in this process of growth, they start producing lag. Producing lag, they start secreting lag. So this lag is secreted from their hypodermal glands. Just below the cuticle, they have a layer of cells known as hypodermis. In that hypodermis, there are lac glands. There are lac glands in hypodermis. So from these lac gl glands of the hypodermis, they start producing lac. And this lac, it accumulates around them. This lac accumulates around them to form new lac cell to form new lac cells so these crawlers or nymphs as they insert their proboscis into the plant tissue they start sucking sap so sap provides them nutrients for growth so they grow in size and in this process they also start secreting lac from their hypodermal glands so this lac secretes around them they secrete lac around themselves and this accumulation of lac around them it leads to formation of new lac cells and these crawlers or nymphs they get buried under the lac which has be, which has been secreted by them right so as they are feeding they are taking the sap so they become stationary and their hypodermal glands they start secreting lac so this lac accumulates around them and these crawlers or nymphs, they get buried in this lag. So this is the plant twig. This is the twig. So it is the crawler or a nymph. It is obtaining the sap from the plant. And in the meanwhile, it is also secreting lag. And this lag accumulates around them. And they get buried in this lag. So they form new lag cells. In these new lag cells, these crawlers or nymphs, they change into adults. They change into adults and they differentiate into males and females. They are in separate cells. 
they differentiate into males and females then they start this sexual reproduction then these male crawlers these male lack insects they move over the female and they reproduce males come out of their lack cells and enter into the lack cells of the females and they mate they mate and after mating a female again lays the eggs female again lays the eggs and from these eggs new crawlers or nymphs will be generated new crawlers crawlers or nymphs will be generated it takes them approximately 6 months for completion of the life cycle it takes them approximately 6 months for completion of the life cycle so their life cycle begins with the eggs eggs are laid by the female female herself is enclosed in a lac cell this is the twig on this twig there is a female lac insect she has proboscis inserted and she is surrounded by her lac so this is the lac cell in this lac cell female lays the eggs female lays the eggs these eggs they hatch within a few days and they escape the lac cells these lac cells they have got minute pores on them these lac cells they have got minute minute pores on them so through these pores the crawlers they escape from the they escape from the lac cells and these crawlers they migrate to new branches they usually prefer soft newly formed twigs so they migrate to those tender shoots right and on those tender shoots these crawlers settle down they insert their proboscis and they start sucking sap so as they are taking sap from the plant tissues they grow in size so they are growing in the process of growth they start secreting they start producing lac from their lac glands these lac glands are present in their hypodermis so as they start producing lac this lac accumulates around them and these crawlers they get buried in their lac cells so lac cell does not completely bury these crawlers some pores remain there for inhalation of the atmospheric air for the process of respiration so they grow in the in these lac cells and they differentiate into males and females then a male leaves his lac cell enters into the lac cell of the female and it fertilizes the it copulates with the female so after reproduction after copulation then the female lays eggs again and from those eggs new crawlers will be produced which will migrate which will infest other tender shoots right so in this way their life cycle is completed just within 6 months and in this way their population is enhanced in very large numbers so their population is grow on the host tree in very large numbers so they infest almost all branches of the host tree they infest almost all branches of the host tree right so this is how their life cycle starts right so life cycle starts from the eggs eggs hatch into crawlers crawlers migrate to new shoots tender shoots they insert their proboscis they suck the sap they secret start secreting lac they get buried in the lac then they differentiate into males and females male emerges from his lac cell enters into the lac cell of the female copulates with the female fertilizes the eggs of the female then female lays those new eggs and from those new eggs another generation of crawlers emerges and they again migrate to tender shoots and form the lac cells so this is how their life cycle is completed and their life cycle is completed within a period of 6 months right now how we obtain lac from these lac insects how we get this lac from these lac insects so for obtaining lac for obtaining lac how we obtain lac from these lac insects so for obtaining lac lac bearing twigs 
lack bearing twigs or pruned off or pruned off from the host tree from the host tree so those branches of the tree which are having lack cells on them those branches of the tree they are cut by a pruning season so this lack which is obtained after pruning the lack bearing twigs of the host tree this lack is known as citic lack so we get citic lack we get citic lack in this process so for obtaining lack from lack plants lack bearing twigs they are pruned off so this these twigs which bear lack on them this lack is known as citic lack this is a twig it had large encrustation of the lack on it so this twig with large encrustation of the lack on it so this lack is known as citic lack this lack is known as citic lack now this citic lack it is scraped off it is scraped off from the citics from the citics by the help of a knife by the help of a knife by the help of a knife now by the help of a knife this lag is scraped off from this lag bearing twig twig right now this citic lag after scraping off after scraping it off from the lag bearing twig this grinded it is grinded and sealed now citic lac is grinded and sealed so after grinding and sieving we get sealed lac and dust lac after grind and sieving we get sealed lac and dust lac so as we grind and sieve this citic lac we get sealed lac and dust lac in dust lac there are pieces of this uh, that wood there are pieces of wood and the lac while well, i see it lac it is in the form of fine crystals right so after grinding and sieving we get seed lac and dust lac this dust lac is mostly not used it is thrown out while well, as this seed lac it is bleach it is washed with water seed lac is now washed with water and it is sun dried now this seed lac it is washed with water washed with water and sun dried and sun dried so this lac seed lac which is washed with water and sun dried sun drying causes causes bleaching in it sun drying sun drying causes bleaching in this lag so for after this bleaching now this lag is known as bleached lag so there is some loss of color on exposure to sunlight so some color is lost so this lag which is obtained after sun drying this is known as bleached lag right so first we had citic lag then we grinded the citic lac then we sieved it after grinding and sieving we got seed lac and dust lac dust lac dust lac it is not used it is thrown out while well, as seed lac it is washed with water then after washing it is sun dried sun drying causes bleaching in it so this lac which is obtained after sun drying that is known as bleached lac now this bleached lac it is melted it is melted 
by heating and then it is mount, mounted in the form of rods it is mounted in the form of flakes it is mounted in the form of rods flakes right or it is so this slag which we obtain by melting the bleached lag and which is mounted in the form of rods, flakes or sheets this lag is known as the shell lag this lag is now known as the shell lag so this becomes our shell lag and it is shell lag which is having commercial value it is the shell lag which is having commercial value so in this way we obtain lag from these lag insects so first we grow the lag insects on the host trees they secrete lag then for obtaining lag we cut the branches of host tree by the help of a pruning knife so those sticks of the host tree those branches of the host tree which are encrusted with lag that lag is known as stick lag then we scrap off this lag from those branches and this citric lac after scrapping from the branches it is then grinded and sieved as we grind it and sieve it we get seed lac and dust lac dust lac is having a lot of impurities in it in the form of those tissues of the plant <coughs> so this dust lac it is usually thrown up while as the seed lac it is then washed with water <coughs> seed lac is washed with water then it is sun dried sun dried causes bleaching in it and this sun dried seed lac it is now known as bleached lac <coughs> then this bleached lac it is melted by heating in large vessels so when we melt this bleached lac then this molten bleached lac it is mounted in the form of rods then rods are formed from it or it is <coughs> mounted in the form of flakes or it is mounted in the form of sheets so this molten bleached lac which is now mounted in the form of rods flakes or sheets this is known as shell lac <coughs> and shell lac is the lack of commercial importance it is the shell lac which has got some commercial importance now we will see what is the commercial importance of this shell lac what are the uses of this shell lac <coughs> this shell lac it is used in making of varnishes paints it is used in making of varnishes paints polishes shoe polishes or other polishes it is used in making of these bangles buttons bangles buttons it is also used in making of this it is also used in insulation of insulation of electric motors electric motors it is also used in insulation of electric motors and it is also used for sealing of parcels for sealing of parcels it is commercial importance has declined since the advent of those synthetic paints it was mostly used in the formation of paints and varnishes after synthetic paints have been synthesized its commercial importance has decreased but it is still used in making of some varnishes or paints or some polishes it is also used in making of some jewelry like bangles buttons it is still used it is still being used in insulation of electric motors it acts as a good insulator right 
and it is also used for sealing of parcels. So that is all about the lac culture. So I think this is sufficient for today. Thank you.